Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we made it to the top of Hooktail Castle. And as you can see inside there, there's absolutely nothing for us inside this final room. So I don't know why we came to the top of Hooktail Castle if Hooktail's not even here. But we gotta explore every nook and cranny, so I suppose we'll just finish off this very boring dungeon with a very boring anticlimactic finale. Because there's no boss in here to be found, obviously. Who dares approach me? Graphical limitations! Mm, so, you are the friends of the strange guard one who came earlier. And I didn't expect more to come to steal the treasure I protect. Such rashness. That was foolish, I fear. Do you really think you can beat me? But you're so small, and you don't appear tasty. I suppose you might make a good snack. And the bottoms of your feet smell like they make a... They would make a good sauce with some spices, okay? Whatever you're into? Well, do a saute you to crispy goodness and gobble you down head first. This is the boss of Chapter 1, Hooktail! Snack time, little appetizers, but which one of you morsels should I taste first? It was so stinking epic seeing this giant stinking boss fight for the first time, having a boss that like, can't even fit in the screen. It was really stinking cool. What isn't cool is that I have to switch to Goombella to get the title thing in, so, title little Hooktail, see what he's all about. That's Hooktail. Max HP is 20, attack is 5, and defense is 1. It'll stomp it, it'll stomp and munge on you, and it has a more dragonish attack, stinky fiery breath. It's tricky, especially when it's losing, and it'll try to fool you into being merciful. Oh yeah, and one more thing, it hates things that start with CR and end with Ikit. Supposedly there's something related to that somewhere in the, this castle. Did we find it? Yes we did, the attack FX R badge is what we were looking for. Uh, we got hit by fire, so... Um, who do I want to switch to? I'm going to switch to... Actually, I'm going to have Mario attack first just so we can show off that cricket thing because if you have the badge equipped and he hears that sound, this happens! <laughs> that awful sound! It sounds like a cricket! How did you know? Stop with that this instant! I got really bad luck. Food poison ones when I hate a cricket. I hate them. Oh, fighting hooky. Just hearing a cricket chirp makes me feel woozy. Yeah, that guy calls himself hooky. Hello! Okay, gets another damage in right there. And Goombell's already in danger. That's amazing. So we're gonna switch over to Koops now because this is his boss fight. We obviously want him for this, and I don't think Goombell can actually do damage to Hooktail in general, so it would be very good to not have her out right now. Mario got to arch, uh, a heart point? It was like heart and HP, whatever. Uh, we are going to, so every time you use the cricket thing, his attack and his defense get lowered, so you can do more damage and you take less damage from him. It makes the first fight very, very easy. Um, do I want to use an item? I don't know if he's impervious to fire, but I just have these fire flowers and I feel like I should be using them, so why the heck not? Let's go ahead and use a fire flower. Fighting a fiery dragon with a fiery flower. And I just realized that didn't even do the cricket sound effect, so I'm not really benefiting from it. Uh, let's go ahead and use Power Shell. And he's gonna go and use his Fire Breath again. Should not be doing the Super Guard because that doesn't really work right now. Let's use... Oh, I wish I had Power Bounce equipped. That would have been good for this fight because once you lower his defenses, then you can use Power Bounce. So, I should have done a little badge reorganization before this fight, but I did not think to do that, so whatever. Let's go ahead and do this, get that cricket sound effect. And have Koops go. Unfortunately, Koops doesn't have a cricket sound effect with his attacks, but it's still good that he's getting damage in. Oh god, it's always so stinking hard to do the super guard during bosses, so I probably shouldn't even be trying, but whatever. Um gonna have Mario attack again. This should be good to go, so we don't need to heal. Let's see if we can finish this boss fight. Yeah. 
Oh, Jesus, 1 HP. God darn it. Uh, we're going to heal Mario, because if I don't, then he's gonna die. Get that taken care of. Let's not have any regrets this time around. Okay, good. The regular guard protected me from that. Uh, now we just need to do 1 HP of damage, and then we're good to go. You actually can't hit his schnoz, so let's finish the fight on the schnoz. Wait, hold up a moment. I give up, please. I won't be so bad anymore. I promise. In fact, I'm sorry for everything. Er, uh, yeah. To prove it, I'll give you 1,000 coins. What do you say? Can you forgive me? For 1,000 coins is short. Now, any Paper Mario expert knows that you can only hold 999, so he's obviously deceiving us. Keep your coins, fiend. What? You must be joking. You don't need any coins. And how about the lovely rare extra special badge I have? I'll give you that. It's one of a kind and it's yours for a limited time only. Will you take it? A rare badge is short. Now, Miss Mouse already stole the rare badge from this castle, so he is lying once again. Keep it, you cad. Uh, really? Well, I suppose I could apologize by letting you smell the bottoms of my feet. People pay good money to do this. I'm being completely honest right now. Really? So, care to take a whiff of the rich yet delicate scent of my world renowned feet? I really hope I don't have to explain this one. That's disgusting! <sighs> you aren't a very trusted fellow, are you? It's important to be able to trust someone, you know? Er, uh, I guess I better. Oh my god! Oh, if only Luigi was sitting on the right side of the theater. That's just not right. <laughs> now my strength has returned to me. I've had enough of this. Let's finish this guy off fast, Mario. Yeah, we're talking real awesome epicness now. We are in the audience when fighting an enemy. It's so stinking amazing. So, what should we do now? Mario's Power Smash still does more damage, so I'm going to go ahead and use that one last time before we're out of FP for this fight. And Koops, you unfortunately don't have any uh, FP to use Power Shell, so we're just going to use the regular Shell Toss, but thankfully we can do that with the, H with the Defense Drop. Okay, just one HP of damage. I believe if you jump on his head, then like uh, toads pop out of him or something like that. Let's see if that if I'm right on that. Hooray! I saved some toads. Uh, I'm doing some good things. And hey, Koops gets to finish off the battle. Very, very fitting. Star points. My god, the controller vibrates like crazy. Wow. We actually pulled it off, Mario. Now all we have to do is find that crystal star thing you're looking for, Mario. Yeah! I'm out! I'm finally out! Whoa! It... can't be. Eh? D dad Hey! You're... you're Koops! Hey, son! You've gotten so big since I last saw you! Well... yeah, I guess I have. But who cares, Dad? I mean, golly... What happened to you? Where have you been all this time? Well, I came here a while back to deal with Hooktail, and all was well and good. But just before my finishing blow, he played a trick on me and gobbled me down whole. I've been hiding in my shell for the ten years since then, inside Hooktail's belly. And boy, was it nasty. Yuck, I'm so glad to finally get out. Ah ha ha ha! What, did he never go to the bathroom throughout the past ten years or something like that? Honestly, Dad, don't you know how worried about you we all were? 
For ten long years, we thought you'd... You know, we thought your game was over. It's such a funny way to describe dying in a Mario game. Oh, sorry, son, but I'm okay. That's good, right? We're together now, right? Hey, speaking of which, what are you doing here anyway? Oh, come on, Dad. I came here to defeat Hooktail, who's been wreaking havoc in town. And Mr. Mario here is looking for a gem called the Crystal Star. Crystal Star? This wouldn't be what you're talking about, would it? What's that? It's a crystal star, you dingus! I found it down there in Hooktail's belly. Nice, huh? I kept it as a souvenir. That's interesting, but convenient. So, this is the thing you're looking for? Perfect, just perfect. You can have it. Who, me? Come now, I won't take no for an answer. You're Koops' friend. Please take it. Oh, yeah. You got a crystal star! And you learned the special move, Earth Tremor! End of chapter! Mario and friends finally got a crystal star in the castle after defeating Hooktail. Koops even reunited with his long lost father, whom he thought was DEAD! Yet they were unable to learn anything about the whereabouts of the princess. Where could Princess Peach be? Yes, Mario's adventure has only just begun. As if I needed to tell you that because we're only in chapter one. <laughs> Meanwhile, thousands of miles away. Oh, great exalted Grotus, we brought the Princess Peach you ordered, sir. Like it says, the Princess Peach. Again, they're just using the thes, so it makes me feel correct in my speech in perfectnesses. Is, is. Let's just continue the dialogue. Oh god, they're electrocuting you! No. Well, 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 my pet. Isn't it about time you told us where the map is? Princess Peach, you will speak when spoken to. I'm telling you, I don't know! There's no point in trying to hide it, silly girl. We know you had it. We know this. Trust me, it's very much in your interest to be absolutely honest with us. We x knots are not all rainbows and lollipops, I assure you. We're quite nasty. Grotus, sir, I have news. Report at once. You know that crystal star we thought maybe Hooktail had? Well, someone nabbed it. What? What did you say? Someone else is after the crystal stars? And he defeated that Hooktail creature, you say? Speak, soldier. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. There's more, too. See, according to the report, it was a mustached dude in red hat and blue overalls who pulled the job. Excuse me, Mario. I see. So you know of this Mario, do you? Hmm. This fool matters not at all. I'll know all about him before long, that I promise. I grow bored of talking. Take Princess Peach back to the holding room. Yes, sir. And men, take good care of Princess Peach, understand? She is not to be harmed. You got it, sir. Well, Lord Crump, if this Mario character has the map, then it's highly likely he'll find the crystal star we're hunting for in Boggly Woods. You must return there immediately and hasten the ex excavation. It must not fail. Was that? Oh, yeah, sure, Roger Grotus. And with that, pow, I'm gone. 
I wonder if sending Lord Crumb there alone is wise. He is a bit out there. Hmm. x not. I summon you! You reign, dude? I mean, sir? You reign, Sir Grotus, dude? Grotus? Sir Grotus? Sir? Dude? Shut up! Go get the Shadow Sirens over here! The sh Shadow Sirens, sir? But they... I don't care how you plan to end that sentence, fool. Go get them. Now! Gotcha. Dude. The Honorable Grotus has need for us? Then we arrive without delay! <laughs> Pray tell, did the princess tell you where the map is? Still your ton, Beldum. We would already have it if you'd snatched her earlier. But now, since you missed your chance, some poor fool named Mario has the map. It wasn't my fault, truly. There were too many prying eyes there, too many. Besides, a strange old man showed up at the moment of truth and we had to retreat. Why worry? All we need to do now is find this Mario and steal the map, yes? Indeed, that is your duty. Must I remind you, that map is vital to the x not plan. I will have my men prepare all available information on this Mario. For now, hear me, Beldum. You Shadow Sirens must take care of this troublemaker. <laughs> Fear not, sire. I, Beldum, shall return with what you seek. Let's go, my lovelies. Marilyn, Vivan, come. We've got a job to do. Oh. <laughs> Like the Mario universe is kind of making fun of themselves right now. But hang on a moment, where in the world am I anyway? It's so unfamiliar. I wish I could at least let Mario and Toadsworth know that I've been caught. And back to the Peach segments. They make a returneth. Hooray. So what exactly do we do here? We can't examine any lockers. We can't jump. We don't have a hammer. We can't do anything as Peach. This is so horrible. It's so lame and boring. Oh, well, good thing we can at least open doors so we can at least explore around. And we've already been met with a dead end. We got a toilet and a bathtub. Very oddly placed, just like plopped in the middle of the room. The interior decorating in this place is horrible. We must escape. What a lovely shower. No soap scum even. Wow, I wonder if it works. Well, that's one way to start off a peach segment. Like, oh, she hums the Mario theme song. Also, so many questions. One... Okay, but one, how could she have water on her when she's paper? And two, who the heck puts their clothes on top of the shower while they're taking a shower? You're just gonna get your stinking dress wet. Like, seriously. Like, that's what I'm concerned about. Like, everyone else who plays the segment, they're all like, oh, Peach taking a shower, but I'm all concerned about, like, ruining the dress and everything like that. I think of the important things in life, people. How refreshing. I feel like a new princess. You see, she's got a little ponytail now, which looks nice and different and stuff. But as soon as we walk through the door, it magically disappears. Hmm, what was that? Hey, how, uh, doors open by themselves. Well, let's find out what that's all about. Shall we? In this room, we got... Weird, it doesn't look like anyone's around. Hmm... Quite mysterious indeed. Can we go through this elevator? Nope, doesn't look like it. We just keep on going. How do I keep making these doors open? How odd! It's called an automatic door, Peach. Or something like that. Hello, Princess Peach. Think I am right here before your eyes. I am this laboratory's main computer. 
I am the tank XX. Many call me tech. You may. Sir Grotus created me to be a perfect computer. One that is flawless in its reason. Grotus? Wait, he's that awful dumb-headed thing who interrogated me, right? Sir Grotus is not awful. He is a very great person. He is marvelous. Oh, I don't think so. But I doubt I'll change your mind. So I'm wondering, why did you lead me here? I am unsure. An unusual program deviation occurred when I observed you earlier. My higher brain circuitry malfunctioned and nearly overheated at your image. Also, an unidentified impulse sped through my processors. These events are new to me. There is more to this phenomenon as well. I ran diagnostic programs. And their solution was, I want to know more about you. I want to observe you. Such a compulsion has no precedence. Cause unknown. I, the perfect computer. I must diagnose this unusual situation. I will not fail. That is why I led you here. Wait, did you just say you want to observe me? To know more about me? Could it be that you... No, impossible. It can't be. You're a computer! What has happened to me? If you know my malfunction, you must tell me of it. Oh, I couldn't really, because... It's just too weird. Please tell me. Please. Pretty please with strawberry shortcake on top of the strawberry shortcake. That's how the analogy works, yes. I am the world's best computer. I am perfect. There should not be anything that I do not understand. Please. Well, you know, maybe. It is it possible that, well, you're in love with me? Love. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. I cannot compute this. Wait, you don't know what love is? Love, how do I explain? Love tells you when you want to be with a person forever. It makes you feel happy just to see that person happy, smiling, and having fun. When you love someone, you'll do anything to help them when he or she is in trouble. Happiness, fun, I have definitions for these words, but my programming is insufficient. There should be nothing I cannot comprehend. I am a perfect computer. Comprehend, love? Love's not something you comprehend, Tech. You feel it. Mm. Princess Peach, will you teach me to feel this thing you call love? What? You're a computer! Why would you care about love? I am perfect. There must be nothing that I cannot comprehend. Nothing. That is why you must help me understand this thing called love, please. If you have any wishes that I can grant you in exchange, I will grant them. But of course, I am unable to grant you such a wish as letting you escape. He didn't say we can't wish for more wishes. What? Are you insane? You ex-jerks kidnapped me like common Koopas. And now you call me in here and ask me to teach you the meaning of love? I should spit on your screen. You'll grant my wishes? Ha! Huh? Why should I believe you? Oh, jeez, you're so angry. <laughs> I understand you are angry. That emotion I comprehend. You need not change me now. But I must learn of this thing. I must. There is no alternative. I must be a perfect computer. That is why, if you would just consider teaching me, I will grant your wishes. Do you understand me, Princess Peach? Now, tell me your wish. Are you sure? Well, okay, here goes. Can I contact someone? The sooner the better. Yes, of course you may. Use my communicator to send wireless mail to anywhere you want. If you so wish, you can use it right now. It is no trouble. Use the keyboard in front of you. Enter the recipient, address, and message. 
You mean this keyboard? All right, let me give it a shot. Okay, it's ready, Tech. Could you send it? The message has been sent. For the time being, you may return to your room. I will call you in again when I want to ask you something. Princess Peach. Now, in the Japanese version, he actually had a red eye instead of a blue one. That was a reference to Hal from 2001 Space Odyssey. They changed it in uh, the North American version because they wanted to avoid copyright. And also probably because that movie is trash. I don't care if it was revolutionary and changed the cinema world as we know it. That movie is god stinking awful. I don't care what anyone says, like, the deep meaning of it. I do not get it. It is so stinking confusing and dumb. And something that isn't confusing and dumb is, hey, look who it is! We're here in Bowserland now! Uh, wouldn't be a Paper Mario game without Bowser, but seems like he's not in the center of attention this time around, so what is he doing exactly? Give it up for Bowser! Hoo, 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 hoo. Bowser the Mighty Koopa King has arrived! Hold your applause, minions! I like how that's how he enters a room every day. But now that I'm here, Cammy, you crusty old hag, why did you summon me? Uh, Great Lord Bowser, the uh, crusty hag Kami Koopa will arrive momentarily. I'm really sorry for the inconvenience, but please wait at the at the rear of the room. Yes, not only do we have Peach interludes at the end of every chapter, we have Bowser interludes. Since he's not the main villain, we can actually play as Bowser. It's amazing. He can't jump or do anything like that, but he can blow fire breath for no reason whatsoever. Because why the heck not? It was just fun to have him blow fire, so the game developers put it in. It's stinking awesome. Playing as Bowser for the first time, it was stinking amazing. I loved it. It was so cool. But yeah, the Bowser segments are some of my favorite parts of this game because they're so stinking hilarious. For example... Please, your ghostliness, I have to ask you to wait at the rear of the room. Okay, that wasn't that funny, but um... Greetings, your huffiness. The hag, Kami Koopa, will be arriving at any moment. Uh, what are these guys gonna say? So the other day, I saw Lord Bowser gazing longingly at a photo of Princess Peach. Uh, you may want to put a cork in it, man. Whoo, I tell you, the look on his face when he was moaning, not moaning, mooning over that thing. Huh? Yeah! Lord Bowser. Well, I'm dying to hear the rest of your hilarious story, Mr. Comedian. Do share. Blah! Yeah, that's basically that's all there is for that guy. You got anything to say? I'm not funny, sir. He's not funny, sir. <laughs> uh, what are you going to say? Lord Bowser, I have been training day and night to help you conquer the world. Should the time come, I shall be ready. Order me as you please, your surliness. Uh, super. In that case, I already need to do some sit-ups, tubby. He's not doing the sit-ups now. He's, uh, now that I'm looking at his sprite right now, Bowser looks stinking weird. It's like his tiny little arms that are just hanging out at all times. Uh, I guess it isn't all that easy being Bowser. But I love his little feet, how they walk around and everything like that. It's just so stinking funny. And something else that's even funnier is that, um, please, not too much trouble, head to the rear of the hall. Um, something that's really funny is that if you're doing a speedrun of this game, or if you've seen a speedrun, uh, one of the typical things that people do is they, um, like I said before, Professor Frankly could accompany you on your journey for a momentary, um, momentary minimal period of time. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but basically, you could actually have Professor Frankly follow you for a bit of the game, and it actually transitions into the Peach and Bowser segment. So you could actually see Bowser and Peach walking around with Frankly, like they, like he's not even there, but it's thinking hilarious. Oh, I just thinking love that. Now I couldn't even talk to those guys. How horrible! And it looks like Bowser has a mustache over there. Ah, Lord Bowser! Kami Koopa makes a return, and she's already tuckered out from walking across the hall. Ah, whoo! I've just now returned. I'm terribly sorry to keep you waiting, my lord. I bet you are, Kami Koopa. Now out with it. Why have you called me here? Please, your grumpiness. Don't be so impatient with your poor servant. Ahem. It's my displeasure to report that Mario, that scum, is off to a town called Rogueport. Pfft. Am I Mario's babysitter? I don't care what he's doing. 
Are you gonna call me every time that guy blows his nose or what? Sheesh! It's really weird to hear Bowser say that, that he just doesn't care what Mario is doing. He's like, I don't stinking care. Yes, well, you see, my lord, apparently Mario is hunting for an amazing treasure. T treasure? Yes, Mario has gone in search of star-shaped jewels known as the Crystal Stars. I'm researching just what they are, but there's no question of their high value. The Crystal Stars, you say? They sound like good world-conquering tools. I want them! Hmm, yes, very good. Continue researching this for me, you brainy hag, you. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Leave it to me. By the way, Lord Bowser, do you like fried eggs? A uh, very random question, but sure, I like fried eggs. Why not? Do I? I love fried eggs. Love them. But what a weird question. Why do you ask? Er, uh, during my Mario recon, I stopped in a lovely place called Petal Meadows. I was planning on taking everyone there for a picnic, having some eggs and toast. Of course, I wouldn't think of sending out invites without asking you first, Lord Bowser. Arrhead! A picnic? You moron! This is no time for fun! See, this is why that my evil plans always fail. Because you clods always goof off! Arrgh! Oh dear, Lord Bowser, please calm down! Remember your blood pressure! His blood pressure? Hmm? What's that? Bumble, bumble. What? Is this true? Lord Bowser, terrible news! Some bold fool abducted Princess Peach in Robeport! Oh, what? Tell me you're lying, Cammy! How? When? Where? Who do such a thing besides me? I'm afraid we don't have that information quite yet. The investigation's ongoing. One thing is most certainly confirmed, however. The princess has been kidnapped! Under no circumstances is anyone allowed to kidnap her without my say-so! I will not stand for this! I'm going to Rogueport now! I've gotta kidnap her back! Bowser to the rescue! And the Koopa Clown card that I don't really like. And shows up all in your face and smashes through the wall. Hope we have insurance for that. But your grunginess, wait up! So it looks like Bowser will be joining us on this adventure at some point or another. But that is all we are going to be doing for this episode. Next time on Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, we are going to return back to Mario and see what his next plan is now that he's got his first crystal star. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.